boom, we're recording. Happy Bowtie Friday, I'm Austin Griffith. We're here with some build, some dudes. We're gonna build some stuff, <laughs> or we're gonna show some stuff off, right? Hi, we're looking at NFT uh, signature, auction, signature, signature NFT, based. Right. Yeah, awesome. Signature based. Yeah. Take take it away. Let me set you so you can share. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's working, right? Yep, we've got you. Okay. Yeah. So basically, uh, so we already built an NFT auction, and the idea for this project was to make it signature based, so that bidders can make bids off chain by submitting, uh, by signing the transaction, basically, and submitting it to their backend. So basically, they don't pay gas in order to make a bid. So this was a challenge, and we uh, we we just tried to build it, build the thing. Yeah, so uh, how this works? So uh, let, me, let me kick off, and then Virash can uh, can join. So, uh, so yeah, let's let's give it some funds. Uh, yeah, so basically, this project is a fork of Buyer Mint NFT branch, and in order to start, we should mint uh, an NFT. So let's start with minting uh, Gofa. Uh, so there's a there's a simple NFT example branch, and that's where it starts, and that just gives you yeah. a gallery and a script to mint NFTs. And then there's the buyer mints, which pushes the minting off to the buyer when they buy from the gallery. And then uh, you guys did an NFT auction gallery on top of that, and then I think this is a signature based version of the NFT auction. So we're like four. Yeah. Four four branches on the tree deep into yes, an yes. NFT thing. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So after we mint an NFT, we can start an auction if we own this NFT, basically. And let me just open uh, another window with another another wallet, so we see how UI differs uh, if we use two different accounts. Yeah. So in this account, we just see that this NFT is owned by this user. And we can't start an auction basically because we don't own this NFT. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So let's try to start an auction. Uh, yeah. So Buffalo. So we should put a minimum bit. Uh, let's say that minimum bit that we can make is zero point two ETH. And let's say that our auction will be just for testing purposes. Let's say it's uh, one hundred eighty seconds. So three minutes basically. <laughs> That's a local host auction. <laughs> a quick. Yeah, local host auction. <laughs> Also, it's it's deployed on Rinkeby. You can think of it, but it's a bit slow. Uh, so for demonstration purposes, but we're just doing it on local hooks. Yeah, but feel free to go to link Rinkeby and this here. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So let's close this one. Okay. So let's start an auction. Uh, let's see how it goes. Okay. So we're sending a transaction. So we one transaction to mint the NFT. And now the yes. owner of the NFT, this green guy, sends another transaction to open up the auction. Is that right? Yes. Yep. Oh. Yeah. So there are two transactions now. Yep. So uh, we are basically opened an, an auction for this NFT item. Yeah. And since we're in, uh, since we're selling this item, we can't make bids basically because we're selling it. But as another user here, we can make a bid basically. And uh, the idea is that we make these bids off chain. Without spending any gas, yeah, so let's let's grab some funds. Uh, there we go. Let's grab some funds. And in order to make bids, uh, we should make sure that this user actually has some ETH. So we should stake some ETH, but you can withdraw it in any time. Basically. Exactly. So there is there is a, a transaction on the bidder side also to get established with the system. But then once a bidder is staked in and on the other side, you you've put it you've opened it up. Then it's signature based. It's it's sort of yeah, like it's just... yeah, it's sort of like when you see a bidding war and all of those are transactions on mainnet. It's like oh, all that gas just being burned for nothing, right? It's it's that bidding uh... war that this this achieves like. All of those signature-based uh, uh, bids can kind of happen without paying gas, but you do have to kind of like lock up ETH into the system. And I think that's a good kind of disclaimer to add to it. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. That's cool. the, basically the idea. So let's take some ETH. Uh, we better hurry. We've see. got 180 seconds. <laughs> 
Oh yeah. Oh sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So we have some. Here we go. Let's, let's put a bit like zero point four. Uh, so it's it exceeds zero point two. So it's we're fine. So let's put a bit. All right. So here we go. We made made a bit. Yes. And we uh, didn't see yeah. any pop-ups, no notifications for transactions. I'm assuming there's a back end yeah. there. So we we sign something and drop it to a back end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So what running? So there is a uh, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, so okay. Uh there is a backend running on local local host point one basically. And cool. this keeps track of every uh, of uh, basically, this is the off chain signature, and we store uh, information about each of them. Okay, so uh, let's update collectibles. So, hope who is this auction is going to end soon. Yeah. Adam. Yep. So, so the end of the auction is going to be the most interesting. There's Adam popping in and popping out later, Adam. <laughs> uh, the, the, the closing of the auction, this is like the most important part. So like there's, there's something where we're going to have to turn in a signature and we're going to have to prove it, but there's multiple signatures out there. And we have to think about like, what are the possibilities of someone turning in the wrong one or somehow like trying to stop someone from turning it in and then having some kind of grace period. So this this part re right here is the most interesting on the back end, but on the front end, we should just see, oh, this guy wins the auction and that's the end of it. <laughs> but we should yeah. dive into like how it works a little bit probably. So probably we can jump to the code later. So we can explain yep. like how it works. And then we'll... Perfect. Yeah, so auction has ended and we can pick a winner. Basically there's only one, one person, one bid. So yeah. So there's a uh, settlement. Yeah, so process right here where can anyone make this transaction i guess we'll 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 see it in the back end there we go so we so there's like we there were off-chain signatures and then there's one last transaction at the end and it looked like it was the green guy the the seller yep. put that transaction in turned that signature in and sold the nft and earned some eth yeah that's correct that's great so basically we can we now own this nfc and we can start a new auction basically because we are now the owner Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Let's, let's do, do, uh, do the incognito. Like, uh, no, never mind. We've already, we sent it from one to the other. The, the, the most fun thing on the very first NFT example is having an incognito window and sending the NFT from your window to that window, like seeing it show up. But this is so far beyond that. We just auctioned it off to the other one with off chain signatures. It's even cooler. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's, ju let's jump into the smart contract real quick. Let's look at, let's look at that yeah. piece where the, the auction uh, settles and figure out just kind of like, like, is there a grace period? How long is the grace period? Yeah, cool. Oh man, I love the Dracula theme. So good. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, so maybe Virash, can, can you explain like yeah. how so auction bidding works? Uh, yeah, so basically uh, you, uh, there is an execute sale method, right? Uh, which gets called when you have to pick a winner. Before that, it's just like you start off uh, this execute sale method, right? When you have to pick a winner at the end of the auction. So basically right now, the only, uh, the seller can only call this, right? Only, uh, uh, but we can obviously be flexible and, you know, uh, uh, about it that who can, you know, anyone, anyone like can in the future will be able to pick, right? And then uh, basically there is a uh, EIP 12171 uh, uh, signature verification happening. So basically the seller will, add, uh, you know, uh, while broadcasting the transaction, he'll, he'll broadcast, uh, broadcast the bidder details at all, along with the uh, signature, along with their signature as well. And then that signature gets verified, whether it's correct or not. And then uh, at the end, ETH is transferred uh, uh, to the uh, seller, right? And the, uh, the winning bidder gets the NFT uh, in exchange. I was thinking too much about, I was thinking of it like a state channel where there could be some dispute resolution. But in this case, like the seller is incentivized to close the loop. Like the seller picks whichever signature they want and they turn it in, but they're incentivized to pick the best one and just go with it, right? So I feel like in this case, we don't really have to worry about any disputes because it's just the seller is presented with the list of signatures and they pick the best one and they put it on chain and they're incentivized to, to do that because they're about to make ETH 
on their on their NFT. Dope. I, I think yeah. I get it. Yeah. And any anything to add to that? That's awesome. This is this think, looks yeah, great. Yeah, just to add, I think this is just a version one where we just, you know, pick uh, one winner out of many bidders. I mean, we can obviously, you know, gamify it further with grace period and you know, multiple winners and uh, NFT price playing a major role, uh, you know, bigger than this, right? Uh, obviously, in the second in, uh, iteration of this. But yeah, initially, it's just an extended version of a Dutch option with uh, off-chain signature. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I also would like to add that basically, this shows a very powerful idea of how we can uh, improve the UX, uh, the overall user experience and onboarding of users, because we don't spend any gas. We don't require people to uh, have ETH on their wallets and it just improves onboarding of UX much, becomes much better. It, uh, it seems like this would be a perfect fit for something on mainnet. We should be starting to think about like what little, we should try doing this on mainnet just as a demonstration, like showing people that the, like maybe we have like hundreds of bids, right? Like we all get together and do like hundreds of bids off chain and then one person wins at the end. And we end up only putting, you know, the, the few transactions on to, but then we have a big bidding war to try it out or something that might be fun. Yeah. Because we already nope. have everything to, to do this. Awesome. Well, good work, guys. Great work, man. Signature-based NFT auction.